Welcome back. We're here underwater and we're going to need some moss in order to uh, complete those instructions on the inside of the uh, breathing bubble. And actually I missed it earlier. Cause it's inside the city. Quite like this design by the way. It's a very pretty looking underwater city. And the moss is actually the green stuff on the walls here. It doesn't look like it's regular moss, it's some kind of glowing moss. It's a small amount of a glowing green substance. Okay. You might have guessed by now um, that these mermen are probably <coughs> the merim that we were looking at uh, in the uh, enclave. Or the bloodthirsty mermen of the Sea of Songs, as the, <laughs> the old sailor called them. Which is actually um, the people who are apparently worshipping this god who fell from the sky, who might be one of the two uh, dragkin here in uh, Arcadia. So, since we need to uh, talk to these dragkin... What the hell's going on? <laughs> Looks like an earthquake, or an undersea, undersea quake. Um, so we probably need to talk to these uh, Merum to find out uh, how we can get to the, this Draken guy, if they even know where he is. Um, so we need to do what it says here. The first step would be to mix our blood with the moss. So we're gonna need some of our own blood. Um, in order to get that, we're gonna need something... Uh, Sharp. Like a pushpin. If this gets infected and I have to chew off my finger to fight the gangrene, I'm suing somebody. Now things I do to save the world. Worlds. Okay. Got some blood on a convenient piece of cloth that we didn't have before. Maybe it's a piece of clothing. Let's mix that with the glowing green stuff. Then dip the black pearl in it. Not to be confused with uh, the black pearl that Captain Jack Sparrow was captain of. And it turns into a golden pearl. The pearl has turned a golden color and it's glowing with magic. And now we have to eat it. I've always had trouble swallowing pills, especially huge golden magical ones. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Makes you wonder how often Oof. she has swallowed huge golden magical pills before. Well, let's see if that has made it possible for us to communicate with our hosts. Stroke captors. Understand what I'm saying? Yes, we understand. Yay! Weird. I have this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that I shouldn't be able to understand what you're saying, but I do. You have passed the two tests of the Gatherer Landwalker breathing water and speaking the tongue of the Merrill. You can serve us now. Serve her? You didn't come here to serve her. We came here to save the world. Serve you? You have been brought here to serve us as the gatherer of Tanyin. What the hell's Tanyin? What's Tanyin? Tanyin is life. Tanyin brings light to darkness and sustenance to our caves. Tanyin keeps the snapjaw from our children and heats us when it is cold. Tanyin is life. 
Where does Tanyan come from? Our gatherers collect it from the caves and shores of the islands, but there is less Tanyan to be found each season, and we need help. How does Tanyan do all those things you said? Tanyan provides warmth and light. It draws the harvest close. Harvest? The creatures of the sea that we eat, the golden tail, and the weed eye, and the sand eater. Fish? You're talking about fish. The harvest, yes. That is what we said. The harvest is drawn to the light and to the heat. But the snatch are clever. They stay away. They know the light allows us better aim with our spears. I'm guessing this glowing green stuff on the inside here is actually Tanyan, but I'm not entirely sure, sure of that. Why can't you gather Tanyan yourself? We do, but we cannot move far from our cities, or the Snapjaw will hunt us and eat us. If we travel in force, we leave our men and children without guard. And we cannot travel too close to the islands, or the wing demons may catch eye of us. They leave our gatherers alone, though, so you have nothing to fear. Except for sna the Snapjaw, of course. Who are these wing demons that she was talking about? Who are the wing demons? Ugly, leathery creatures who defy nature to fly up there in the sky. They are evil and live to destroy our people. I wonder if these uh, wing demons are actually the Alation, because we are supposed to be close to the Isle of Elias, aren't we? Don't the Snapjaw kill the gatherers? Rarely. Your meat is bitter and tough, not soft and tender like ours. Gee, thanks. I won't ask how you know that. I think I've learned enough about Tanyan for now. You have learned nothing, but your training will teach you what you need to know. Let's find out if they are indeed the Marum that we were looking for. Are your people called the Miram? We are the Miram. Most landwalkers call us Mermen or Mer people, but the Miram was our name in truth. Who are you, man? We are the queen of the third city of the Miram, enlightened keeper of the Tanyan, protector of the light. I'm sorry, your Your Majesty, I really had no idea you were a queen. We are just a queen. Our function is to serve the people, to light our cities, provide food for our men and children, and to protect them from the snapjaw that hunt us in the dark. Do you know where my ship went down? The vessel you foolishly travel in above the water? It rests not far from the city, just past and beyond the Landwalker's bubble where you were first brought. I think it is dead. Um, it was never alive. Do you know the island of Elias? Yes, we know the island of Elias. Our gatherers find Tanyan there, and the Merrim once had a city in the shallow waters below it. Can you bring me there? Until your training is complete, you cannot go gathering. We cannot risk losing you to the Snapjaw, or to have you desert your duties to our people. How long will my training take? Six gold oceans. Six years? Sure, that makes sense. Everything in this world takes ages. We don't have that kind of time. I've been told that you worship an old god who lives in the deep. How did you come by this forbidden knowledge? Picked it up on my way here. Could you take me to him? You? No, we cannot. Unless you are Miram, you are not even allowed to speak of our sleeping god. Well, that's uh, not very helpful. Thanks for your time. We will call on you soon to begin your service. Until then, you should stay inside the Landwalker's bubble 
and away from the dark waters where the snap jaw lurk. Yeah, I hate to disappoint you there, Queenie, but uh, we aren't really going to become a gatherer. We don't have the time, so yeah, we're going to have to find a way to get away from these people. And at the same time, get uh, convince them to let us talk to their god. This is going to prove difficult. But we'll uh, think about how to approach that next time.